Hello and welcome to my latest video. My name is Ollie Furnival. This is the revision techniques number two. If you'd just like to look at how to get in touch with me, uh, my YouTube channel is Teaching and Learning. If you'd like to email me with any questions that you see on this video, oliverfurnival at gmail.com and Twitter is at ibcoordinator underscore. So today's video is revision techniques two, mind maps. So the idea is that when you revise throughout these series of videos, I'm going to give you lots of different ways that may um, be best suited for you. So I hope you've seen revision um, techniques one on my um, last video on using past papers. And this video is using uh, mind maps and I hope that some of the ideas in this video um, can help you with your revision, whether it be for um, GCSEs, A-levels or international baccalaureate or actually any, any any exam coming up the mind map is also a really good way to um, summarize information um, throughout your course so that when you by the time you come to the end of your course you've got your work in order uh, I'd just like to if you just look at the video here uh, mind maps um, actually come from a man um, called Tony Buzan and if you'd like to look more into mind maps after this video please go to his website Tony Buzan Dot com. So this is where um, I found out about Tony Buzan. So I'd like to just go through very quickly um, some of the ideas that are used in mind maps and hopefully you can take them on board if they suit your way of learning and um, help you in your revision. So um, if you'd like to just come here quickly. So um, the first thing about um, mind maps is the idea that, oh, if, if you just look at the book, the idea is that when we learn um, a lot of us find that, if you look at a book here, this is, um, we're looking at AS, UK Government and Politics. A lot of us find that maybe black lines, straight black lines, don't really stimulate our brain and it can get a bit boring. And by the time you've read from here down to here, you kind of wake up from the, the trance and think I've actually not remembered much about that. So for some people, if it works for you, reading um, out of books and making notes out of books, please go ahead and do that. But otherwise, if, if you're having trouble with that, I think this idea of mind maps is a very different way and it can actually help you by having key ideas with many different colours and pictures to help you along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, just some of the rules of mind mapping and then I'm going to go through a mind map that I did earlier explaining to you how I believe it, it can help me try to remember key information. So the first um, thing about the mind map, here's a blank page is that we start in the center, the center of the page. Okay, obviously if we start in the center of the page, this gives us um, the opportunity to work all around the outside of the center. And you can see my page um, is sideways on here to give me more, um, more space to write in. Okay, um, so at the in my center, it's really nice if I have an image. Now, my image goes in the center. Now, if you're like me, you're really bad um, at art. Um, it doesn't really matter because this mind map is really going to go the way that uh, your brain wants it to. So therefore, the pictures that you draw, as bad as they are, should have connections um, to help you. But um, the reason we have a, an image in the middle is because images stimulate ideas. And obviously, if you think about, you know, sending postcards um, when we send them from um, to home from holiday, we, we don't send a blank white piece of postcard. We, we show an image of the beach or wherever we're staying because that can then make the receiver imagine better w what we're doing and where we are. Um, you know, of course, if I say the word pizza to you as well, your brain isn't going P-I-Z-Z-A. -Z -Z it's um, imagining a picture of a nice pizza. So the image is there, okay? And um, what I'm gonna do in my, my image is, is maybe have a question that I'm going to be revising or a topic um, and from then, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, branch outwards from the center. And it's important to see that I've got many different colors. So when I'm branching out from the center throughout my mind map, I'm using many different colors so that my um, brain is really interested in this. Of course, show colors that show up nicely, okay? Because colors, just like images, are going to stimulate your brain. And it's going to add life and vibrancy to your mind map, okay? And energy and to your creative thinking, okay? So what we look at in our main image here is um, these central branches, okay? So my thick, curvy branches, my thick one is my main idea, okay? And this is curvy because my brain doesn't like straight lines. And so I've got my uh, main idea... 
for this part of my note taking. Okay, and then what I do is I make sure that um, I connect my secondary ideas to it. So my secondary ideas, the branch can, you know, be still curly, but slightly smaller, but it's connected. It's important that my brain um, sees the connection there. So I've got my main idea there, and from my main idea, I have a key, I have connections. And my connections may well go off three or four fold. Okay, connect. And the key idea here is that along each connection, I've only got one keyword. Okay, and from that keyword, what it's going to do, it's going to um, trigger memory in my brain. And to help it do that, what I'm going to do is throughout here with my connection here, I'm going to have images. Okay. So my brain likes linking things together, okay? And if you um, connect your branches with your pictures around it, then your brain is going to connect them easier. Um, and a lot more, it's gonna be a lot more understandable for you, okay? Um, it's important to curl throughout. Um, the brain will find it boring if you don't. And it's important that you don't overload your mind map with um, words. So one keyword per line, um, or maybe a phrase per line is really important here because then it gives your um, it gives yourself more flexibility and more room to actually put the images in and put other smaller ideas so you can create a lot of ideas around without what we're what we're not doing on this main idea is I'm not going to be writing five or six lines of words. I'm going to keep my words to a minimum because all I need, okay. All I need is my key main idea linked in with my connections here. Colourful, curvy, and this is going to help my brain uh, remember and it's going to trigger the, the knowledge that I've got inside that maybe isn't going to come out if I'm getting dragged down into these um, boring lines, okay? So images are really important because they are key to unlocking the knowledge in your brain. And as I said earlier, it doesn't matter if you're not a good artist, because the image there is really from you to yourself. So each mind map um, is personal to you. Now, of course, um, in some in some subjects, it's, it's really a good idea to work with friends and split up mind maps, um, and then you can make um, you can make a lot of um, work spread out and less work for yourselves. However, um, one one guard against that is if the um, di different person has different ideas coming from their brain that, that doesn't suit you. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you um, a mind map that I prepared earlier. So let's say that I'm studying UK government politics and I've got um, an exam part on here, which is um, comparing um, new labour with um, traditional labour. So in the book here, although it's blue and a bit of green, it's, it's, it's a nice textbook, don't get me wrong. Um, it's all straight lines. I've got pages. New Labour, traditional Labour Party. So what I'm going to do is hopefully put this into a mind map, which I can then put on my um, bedroom wall, um, and then I can look at it, and I can practice and practice, ready for my um, exam question on it. Okay. So if you were to come and look what I did earlier, okay. So here is a, a mind map that I have created on New Labour versus old Labour. So as I said earlier, I've started with an image. There's the, the rose, the emblem um, of the Labour Party. And I've done verses there. That I like that. I like football. So it's one versus another. I've got old Labour and new Labour. And my key words in my um, essay here, I've got differences, similarities. And the arrows clearly show me that the differences between the new and old Labour Party are at the top and the similarities are at the bottom. So I'm just going to quickly go through my mind map and let you know um, what um, knowledge this unlocks from me. So I'm going to start with um, with the differences, okay? So um, a key word here is capitalism, okay? And I'm going to go old and new, and you can see I've branched out. Okay, so capitalism, with my old labour there, um, big big on public services, so maybe not doesn't look like it to you, but for me that's a train, I've got coal, I've got electricity. Okay, I put some public services there that the um, old Labour believe um, should be owned by the public. Okay, but old Labour wasn't just public; it, it did it did also have private sector there. Um, and then I've just put Virgin Airlines, which is a famous um, 
private sector company. Um, and what I've done here is a, a keyword there is monitor. So I've got there for me, that's Big Ben. And there's an I. So I've got the parliament, I've got government checking on the private sector. OK. Um, whereas with capitalism there, there's for old labor belief, new labor. However, I've got my ticks here. They love the free market. OK, they accept it. And I put pound signs all over. So they're linked much closer here to the private sector. I can move on and I can talk to you now that another big difference was the class system. OK, so old Labour here, they believe there's a conflict. OK, so I've got red, there's conflict, there's argument. Here's my class. I've got um, upper, middle and lower class. I've got a few at the top looking down um, over the... Um, over the lower classes there, okay? And there could be problems, um, conflicts there. We've got, um, there should be a fair tax system, the old Labour believe, and the old Labour believe that um, there should be some control over the, the wealth here. But I go into new Labour, and actually they reject this idea of um, the class system. They believe that actually the class system isn't important. What's significant is that each individual within that system steps out of the class system and is provided for and looks for opportunities themselves to improve education, housing, money. My third main idea here, my mind map, mapping out from the centre, is, uh, is equality. Um, old Labour, you can see my equal sign here. I've got people of all different colours, okay, all different types of people are equal with each other. And social and economic equality. So I've got house there, I've got speech, I've got a book for education and I've got the health service, OK? And they believe in economic equality as well. So I've got my pound signs and that shows me that tax raises. The more money you get, the more tax you pay, OK? Which which will um, enhance equality. However, New Labour, I've taken the same picture and I've shown here in my picture that New Labour believe that um, equality, um, actually inequality, excuse me, um, is, is, is natural. There's my keyword. And it's part of, and it's okay, and it's part of society, provided that at the bottom people have opportunity to go up, and that's a key part of new labour. So um, if you look here, if you just branch out, I'm not going to go through the whole um, my map with you, but if you can see what I've done, I've got my big branches here, then they're going off into rights. So I've got clear. Um, oh, this is now a similarity. I've got rights, so I'm helping it with pictures, my keywords, okay? Everyone has rights, there's no discrimination. My keywords, race, um, gender, religion, okay? So what this does, the outcome of this is that instead of, or as well as, should I say, my textbook, which, you know, I'm sitting there, as I said, reading, maybe forgetting, what I've done is I've transferred it here. Now, what's going to happen here now is that these pictures for me are stimulating my brain. And um, these pictures here of the class system, I can talk about the class system from this. I can, I can talk about conflict. Um, this mind map is quick to make. And what it's doing is it's, it's, it's um, triggering important information. Just look at how many ideas I've got here. And the pictures on, them, on, them, on their own, you know, gender here doesn't really mean anything. But the key is rights, uh, similarities, rights, equality, one way of equality that new and old Labour believe in is equality um, of gender. So gender on its own is attached three ways back to my centre of old Labour, new Labour. So the ideas are really linked in. And if you can see here, the, the you know, many, many different pictures, many, many different um, ideas I've got there with the minimum writing. And this is interesting, it's colourful, it's all in capital letters, it's wavy. Okay, they're going to help me focus Focus my study. I can focus on these links between ideas. Um, and the idea is that everything here is connected. All of these ideas are connected to the centre of my mind map, which is the picture of the Labour Party. I've got clearly old and new and verses. So what I can do with this, um, I can practice this. I can practice speeches from this or I could have this here on my desk and I could set myself a target. Uh, let's say I've got 15 minutes now and I've got to write an essay and to write an essay on the differences between old and new labour instead of instead of that there which I've been through in class it's been explained I've done activities with my teacher it's all fine and in my head I've got all the information and really my head has just created this information and now I can practice um, exam skills from it okay Okay, thank you very much for listening um, to this video. I'm just going to show you again at the um, 